The topic for today's discussion is Malhamatul Kubra The wars, the great wars before the coming of the Jal. So what I'm gonna do is collect a number, a, a volume of a hadith together Sahih in nature, some of them za'if, I will tell you when they are za'if, two or three will be za'if, I will tell you. But uh, when I am quoting a za'if hadith, it will be because it is supporting some other sahih hadith, so to fill in the blanks, I may, I may put them there, I will tell you when it is a za'if hadith. The first hadith that we are going to quote is from Abu Da'ud, hadith number 4294, and the hadith is, Umran a very famous hadith in fact that flourishing of Jerusalem that's why it is famous if you are if you have any love for Jerusalem you might have heard this hadith the flourishing of Jerusalem is the corruption of Medina corruption of Yathrib harab of Yathrib so uh, the, the hadith, this hadith actually links these two events together the flourishing of Jerusalem what is this flourishing of Jerusalem we will discuss right now is the corruption of Medina means while the Jerusalem will be flourishing within that period the corruption of Medina will appear many a times what happens is you will see uh, many a times the hadith is that such and such events will happen and then such other event will happen and be in between the two events events we do not know how much time has passed right the prophet also prophesied we, you will uh, in the same hadith he prophesied you will have the captured you will have one conquered the asham and uh, yemen and iraq and then there will be three armies in asham yemen and iraq who will be fighting with each other now we do not know how much time has passed between this conquer conquering of Asham and Yemen and Iraq and this uh, pa th these three parties who are going to fight. It might be a thousand years in between. But in this hadith, Umran al Maqdis is Kharabu Yathrib. While this has happened, this second event will happen. These two are linked together. So it is uh, not. Uh, distanced apart that's why i like this hadith this this serves as a very good um timeline to judge where are we even though we cannot truly understand this hadith i will come to it umran uh, and then kharabu yathrib means corruption of medina is khuruj al malhama okay this is our topic for today right malhama al kubra is the great war the the great war Malhama is the is an extreme kind of war, a uh, war condition. Uh, it might not be one battle, but a war spanning a large uh, number of battles. Uh, and uh, Kubra means the greatest, so the greatest war. Malhamat al Kubra. This is a prophesied war that will happen, often referred to as Armageddon as well in English. So the hadith is saying flourishing of Jerusalem is gonna cause or rather while of Jerusalem will be flourishing there will be Khurab Yathrib the, there will be corruption in Yathrib or Medina Yathrib is the old name of Medina and while there will be Khurab Yathrib while there will be uh, the, the corruption in Medina there will be another event that is Khurujul Malhama the Malhama will, will emerge and while Khurujul Malhama, Khurujul Malhamati, the thing following it is Fatahul Constantinia. There will be conquest of Constantinople, but we have already conquered Constantinople. Constantinople is Istanbul in Turkey. We have that, right? We have all watched Erdogan, right? Have you watched it? I haven't. Anyways, uh, and then. Uh, conqueror, conquering of Constantinople, the Hadith continues, is the Khuruj al-Dajjal. The conquest of Constantinople will lead to the Jal, the emergence of the Jal. Now, five events are mentioned in this Hadith. Flourishing of Jerusalem. While this will be happening, there will be corruption in Medina. Corruption of Medina. While this will be happening, there will be an extreme war an extreme war while this will be happening there will be the conquest of Constantinople the conquest of Constantinople 
while this will be happening or while as, as soon as Constantinople is conquered and we have another hadith for that as soon as the conquest of Constantinople has happened there will be the news of the emergence of the Jal. So question number one from this hadith what is flourishing of Jerusalem? The Jews are flourishing right now in Jerusalem. Just as hadith refers to it, there is corruption in Medina. You can guess that. So is this the event? The great war hasn't emerged yet. Number three, right? The great war hasn't emerged yet. So is the corruption of Medina gonna lead to the great war? Is it coming? If we look at it from this point of view, we know exactly where are we, right? If we consider the number one point flourishing of Jerusalem to be flourishing of Jews in Jerusalem, then we can say while this will be happening, the flourishing of Jerusalem will be happening, there will come the corruption in Medina or the state that sponsors Medina or the state that uh, is considered as the caretakers of Medina. And if we look at it from this point of view, I am saying there are many ways in which this hadith can be interpreted. I am telling you the first point of view, which any present time Muslims Muslims start to ponder upon. And then stage three hasn't come yet. So we know what is going to come next. If we put this hadith in this context, then we know the great war is coming. <coughs> and we know that the the, the uh, Constantinople's Fatah is coming. The conquest of Constantinople is coming. I will come, in to, come to it. Conquest has, con conquest has already been done. Constantinople belongs to us. I will come to this point. And the fifth, then the Jal will emerge. Obviously, Mahdi will come in between this time. Uh, in between uh, then there is another interpretation that can be that the flourishing of Jerusalem refers to the reflourishing of Muslims in Jerusalem in co in the in in the in the classical times people you used to say that uh, the flourishing of Jerusalem would be the Muslims flourishing in Jerusalem right so Muslims flourishing flourishing in Jerusalem Jerusalem wasn't an intellectual capital of Jerusalem sorry Jerusalem wasn't an intellectual capital of uh, the Islamic Empire. So maybe the, there will be an intellectual capital or it will be a political center or something will happen. That will be the flourishing of Jerusalem. Once upon a time, this was a point of view. Now we have seen the Jews kept coming over there. So many a people have said, many a people have said in past 50, 60 years that this hadith refers to Jews flourishing in Constantinople. Is it true? It may be, it may not be. And the third opinion is that Muslims will re-flourish in Constantinople after the Jews have been settled there, the Muslims will reconquer it. So, inshallah, we all expect the third one to be true. Kharabu uh, Yathrib. So, has there been corruption in Medina in past? Well, we can say, who, who, who can say no? Okay, there has been a long 1400 uh, of 1400 years of history. Who can say never has there come a corruption in Medina? So, flourishing of Jerusalem, if we take Muslims in mind, then these two must have, if you think about it, then Muslims were always flourishing in uh, Jerusalem. At the same time, Muslims became corrupt in Medina, would this not have happened any time before, right? This is not the first time. Today's era, we can say that, yeah, see, two of these things have come uh, together. Jews have flourished in Jerusalem and Medina is becoming corrupt right now. You may say that if you want to say that. And then, but I want to point out that this is not the first time that this coincidence might have happened. If you think about it, how many times in history? How many times? 1400 years of history. How many times? Muslims are constantly flourishing in Jerusalem. How many times corruption in Medina have, must have come? And then think about it. So many times people could have think, thought that, okay, two of these have been fulfilled. Now number, we are all waiting for number three, the great war. It doesn't come. And then any war would come. People would think that this is the great war as well. So, if two of these five things are coming true, we should not be so quick to judge. Okay. Uh, that's my discussion over Jerusalem's flourishing. Even though I haven't completed it uh, yet, I will use a Zaif hadith 
to support what who will not support exactly but to uh, bring out another point of view that who can who can be this candidate of flourishing of Jerusalem but let me first come to Khuruj uh, al-Malhama let me tell you a little bit quick uh, quickly about uh, what things are to happen in Malhama. Malhama will be the greatest war ever seen on the face of the earth. Means if uh, uh, World War II was bad enough, then definitely Malhama is going to be bit worse than uh, World War II. Then also we know that uh, one of the hadith says that if a man in Arab had 99 sons, 100 sons, 99 of them will be dead. Then we know that uh, um, there will be uh, con we know that uh, there will be fierce battle fierce battle fierce in syria there will be battles in the city one of the hadith says uh Ghuta will be the fortress of the muslims uh, there will be civil war civil war between the muslims there will be treaties between muslims and christians and christians will betray there will be a group of christians who will have converted to islam and have joined muslims and then be fighting along with the muslims and the christians who are fighting against us will demand that please that not please but return these christians to us all of these hadiths i will mention in this um, in this discussion each of what I have said is from Sahih Hadith. So I have given you a quick overview of what is Malhama. Next, I want to discuss the fourth point, which is the fourth point, which is Fath al Qustuntinia. Now, this may confuse you. Fath al Qustuntinia? Constantinople has already been conquered. But you know what? The Hadith about the conquest of Constantinople makes it very clear that the conquest of Constantinople ha that has happened before is not the one which is prophesized or which is the Ashra Atasa, which is the prophesized Constant uh, conquest of Const Constantinople in the Ahadith. So it is very clear and I will mention those Ahadith as well in this discussion. So it is very clear the scenario has been described how it will be conquered and the, those scenarios do not match. When Sultan, Sultan Mehmed conquered Constantinople, they do not match. So, we see, uh, we say that, yeah, inshallah ta'ala, Constantinople, Sultan Mehmed uh, captured it, he will be rewarded for it. And uh, we, I am not saying that he is not the promised person who to conquer it. Nor I'm saying he is. There can be a discussion about it too, about those ahadiths too, which say that the person who conquer, conquers Constantinople, the first one will be a blessed commander. There can be a separate discussion about that too. But I'm not demeaning the status of Sultan Mehmet. But I'm just saying that the conquest of Constantinople near the Day of Judgment is different than the one conquered by Sultan Mehmet in 1453. Get that? So there is going to be another conquest of Constantinople by the Muslims. We do not even know by the Muslims. There will be Muslims, but the one of the Sahih Muslims hadith says there will be Banu Ishaq. And we Muslims are Banu Ismail in general. Uh, Banu Ishaq is basically the Jews and the Christians. So the Jews and the Christians, though they will be, become Muslims, so a group of Jews and the Christians who will become Muslim will conquer Constantinople. Maybe, I do not, we, we cannot interpret this so well, Prophet has said Banu Ishaq will conquer our group of Banu Ishaq will con conquer, conquer it. Anyways, uh, we will come to those hadiths later on. Uh, now, so uh, the, what I wanted to discuss was that there will be, it seems like if you see, it is not so tough to reconcile. There will be flourishing of Jerusalem at the same time, corruption in Medina, then immediately after the great war will come. So probably in this great war before the conquest of Constantinople, probably in this great war, probably we will lose Constantinople to the Europeans probably. Okay. And uh, if the Europeans, the great war describes the fighting in the land of Syria and Dabik in Amak, okay, in the lands of Syria. So how will the Europeans come to Syria without crossing Turkey? without crossing Constantinople. They might have conquered Constantinople either during the Great War or just before it or sometime before it, sometime in the future. So, okay. And then there will be conquest of Constantinople. Fathul, sorry, Khuruj uh, al-Malhamati Fathul Constantinia. So, as soon as the Khuruj al-Malhamati happens, the 
Fath al Qustuntunia also happens. So Malhama comes, Great War comes, and in the Great War, either they take Qustuntunia and we take back Qustuntunia, something like that happens, or Qustuntunia has already been taken back by them and we uh, take it back right after or right during, during, inside the, while we are within the Khuruj al Malhama in the status of Great War. And uh, this finally, Fath al Qustuntunia directly leads to the coming of the Jal. We will continue to discuss a new hadith about the uh, about this Ashra'at al-Sa of Ashra'at al-Sa means signs of the Day of Judgment regarding Malhama in the next video, inshallah ta'ala. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.